All right, here we go. We are talking to Ohio's top junior and the, the top wrestler in the class of 2024, Max Shula, Ohio State champion, Ironman champion, one of the top 215 pounders in the country. Max, how you doing? Good, Zab. How are you? I'm hanging in there, buddy. Good to uh, good to see you. Glad to have you on the Ohio Cast podcast tonight. Yes, and sir. there's a special announcement. Um, you know, you just made a big decision, and you you're going to commit. Um, where are we going to be committing to Max Shula? The University of Virginia, with coach head coach Steve Garland. Yes, sir. That man has a lot of energy. Oh and- yeah. <laughs> Is that an understatement? Oh yeah, I mean the dude's just bouncing off the walls. I love it though. He's he resembles a lot of Colin, which I think is like part of the reason, like part of the influence in choosing University of Virginia because I see the coaching style is uh very similar. So um, yeah, I think I love the guy though. I mean he brings the energy, he's super upbeat. Uh, you know I, I love that about him. So so they kind of go back and forth as uh, one of the top public institutions in the United States of America and the world. Sometimes it's them. Sometimes it's Michigan. Um, it's a great school, though, in Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, what really led to your decision? You're a guy from Columbus, Ohio. You wrestled at DeSales High School where you were state champ this past year. What goes into a decision like this, Max? Um, you know, um, I had Coach Garland at the house, I believe it was January or February time, and you know, just wanted to kind of experience that thing with him. He actually brought up a PowerPoint at my house, which, you know, kind of struck my interest because he was the first person to – you know, present a PowerPoint to me. And then, you know, I, I had known a couple of friends, uh, Marlon Yarborough from Ohio and uh, Hayden Daniels, who I wrestled my freshman year, who uh, is also at Virginia. You know, I kind of knew them. So I had a little bit of connection there. But, you know, I think having Coach Garland in the house and, you know, just kind of feeling his energy, feeling his presence, you know, he really just kind of brought the upbeat um, energy into the house. You know, I really enjoyed that. So I figured, you know, let's go check out the campus, go check out the wrestling and, you know, the rest is history. So. Uh, you know, when this whole process, my big thing for you is, I, you know, I kept asking the football question. You know, you're an all-state football yeah. player. You guys were in the state finals as a freshman where you started. Um, mm-hmm. You're runner-up as a freshman. I mean, you're you're probably a D1 football player. I, I, I mean, that's just my opinion. I think you're a D1 football player. I don't know if you're a Big Ten football player, but you're definitely a Mid-American Conference football player. Why wrestling over football for you, Max? You know, personally, um, you know, the wrestling um, – recruiting started really early you know first day you know I had phone calls all day phone was blowing up it was an overall crazy day and you know when September 1st rolled around for football you know didn't have quite the same amount of interest still had some looks here and there you know wasn't was able to go on some some game day visits check out some some facilities like that but you know once football season ended um, I, I didn't really stay in contact with those coaches so it kind of baffled me personally I was like you know what's going on like what do I got to do and then, you know, wrestling season came to an end. I feel like I got to reach back out to these coaches, you know, to show them what's going on, all this other stuff. I'm sending my film out, you know, every day of the week, you know, just trying to trying to get that one look. And, you know, I, I felt like, you know, the hundreds of coaches that I sent my film to, not a single one replied. So to me, that was kind of, I wouldn't say a sign, but kind of like, hey, man, like this isn't working out. Uh, let's kind of maybe like pivot a little bit, I guess would be the best way to say it. And, you know, let's, let's go on these official visits and, uh, you know, see what these schools have to offer. So, you know, for me, I think that was kind of the big thing. Um, But yeah. So football, you know, you guys to sales as a a powerhouse, you've won a couple of state titles as a, as a program, you know, like I I, I alluded to earlier, you guys lost an overtime game your freshman year where you play, you played in the state final football game in the varsity football as a freshman. So I think yes, that kind of shows your pedigree as a, as a football player. Um, what do you think the biggest thing was um, with football? What do you, was it your height and you were a defensive lineman? What was it? What do you think it was that football wasn't the thing where people were, were seeking you out? You know, that's a great question. You know, I think the easiest answer would be the height. You know, I'm all, I'm barely above six foot tall as a linebacker, which, you know, for most big division one schools is pretty short. You know, most of those guys are six, three, six, four. So, and I felt like my numbers were getting there. They weren't exactly where they needed to be. But, you know, I went to a camp earlier this spring and I had some pretty good numbers. So I was confident in that. But, you know, I, th- I think the height is kind of a big issue. And maybe I just didn't have the right exposure. I'm not exactly sure. But, um, yeah, I would say that's probably it. So I've been covering you since you were a little guy, right? I, I don't know. Yeah. I, hold on. I don't know if you've ever been a little guy. 
But yeah, that's if you're a young guy, I've been yeah, covering young. all the OEC, the grade school, the junior high. And we've kind of always known that, you know, you know, this this was the breakout year for you. Um, yeah. you know, your freshman year where you you were in um that was the first year it was at the state was at the Highland, right? At Marengo yep. Highland. And mm-hmm. you placed in Dylan uh Fishbeck's weight, and you actually gave him his best match, right? I would say, yeah, we had a good one. We br- we had a brawl. What was that? You know, Dylan Fishbeck, he was the number one guy in the country. He was the Iron Man champ last year, OW. What was your guys' score? Was it the semifinals? Yeah, state semifinals, five to two. Five to two, he beat your freshman year. So, yeah. I mean, we've always known you've been right there. And then last year, um, it was Neves in the state finals, right? Yeah. And then Kyle Snyder was third at the weight. Yep. And we had to so look at that weight, right? That's one of the most loaded upper weights in the history of the Ohio State tournament. You, yeah. Neves, and Kyle Snyder, all guys are state champs. Um, you know, it, it, it's a pretty good weight, right? Your runner yeah, no up, eight, what did that runner up finish do for you and that state placement as a freshman and that semifinal loss do for you? Uh, you know, for me, I know my freshman year, you know, I was I was just that close. I was I'm three points away from reaching the state finals, which obviously as a little kid, you grow up watching the state finals. You're like, man, I want to be there. Like, I want to be on those match wrestling, those matches. So, you know, for me, it was always a personal goal, but, you know, I didn't. I was obviously shooting for a state finals appearance my freshman year, but I didn't really expect myself. Like I wanted to, but I didn't really expect myself. If that makes sense. But then sophomore year, I was like, dude, you know, I went to the Ironman, took fourth. I was like, dude, let's let's go. Like that's a huge huge finish at the Ironman. I'm like, let's let's go take the state title now. And you know, unfortunately, uh, obviously that didn't happen. You know, I lost to Carter in the finals, which you know kind of lit a fire under me, which you know. Um, you know, thrusted me into this year, finishing uh, 51 and 0 and, you know, having an overall great season. So um, I think just those two finishes at the state tournament kind of pushed me to, you know, not only get in those finals, but finish, you know, the finals off the right way. Um, Yeah. You had four pins at the state tournament this year. Did you pin through the sectional district and state max? Correct. Third person ever do it. You, Joe Haskett, and is it Dustin Schlater? Who is the other one? Luke Fickle. Look, so look, it's pretty good company, man. So it's you, Joe Heskett, Luke Fickle. Two to sales guys, by the way. Two to sales. I think Lance, Lance might have too. I don't. I don't. I don't remember either. I know. Um, no, it's not. I don't believe it is Lance. He might have had a tech fall because he would do the thing where he regrepped on the the power half and nobody could stop it. Right. He was like the first per- person to be really doing that. Um. But what's wild about it is, you know, you're Iron Man. You dominated Iron Man. Um, you knocked off Russo in the semis. I want to say, um, dominated in the finals, and I, the whole year just wire to wire, you're so impressive. You've wrestled, as I alluded to, as as a little young kid. Um, you've been wrestling at this high of a level since you know you were a little kid, right? Is yeah. it hard to keep this high of a level over a decade, basically? Um, yeah, I'd say it's hard. You know, you got to continue to train the same way. Uh, just continue to pick up the intensity, you know, uh, just continue to increase the tool, the toolbox, you know, in neutral in top and bottom, you know, just continue to perfect your craft and, you know, tighten up the positioning each and every year. So I think strength plays a huge part in that as well. You know, just continue to get stronger, continue to get faster, you know, as well as increase, increasing that toolbox. So I think that plays a huge role in it, but, you know, competing at this level has always been kind of my thing. Um, you know, I, I've always enjoyed it. It's always been a really good, really good time to just hang out there and, you know, be with my friends who was, who were always at these tournaments as well and just kind of compete at the highest level. It's always been a, a thorough enjoy, enjoyment of mine. So, um, but yeah, you know, the target continues to grow as you continue to win matches, but personally, I enjoy that. So I call you the top junior in the state of Ohio. I think you're one of the top two fifteens in the country. Um, I, I don't think they're, you know, I, Christian Carroll didn't wrestle at the, Iron Man, right? That was like the big guy that didn't show up, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Christian Carroll. Did that matter to you? You know, obviously I wanted the match. You know, he's a he's a guy you obviously want to knock off, but to me, you know, I, I thought I proved myself in that on the stage in the big stage, but you know, you're always looking for the next best guy. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind wrestling some of the top guys. I think it'd be, you know, a great match. So, yeah. Um, moving forward, you you will play football next year. Are you and Lincoln both on the football team at the sales? Yes, sir. Side by side. So you guys are the middle linebackers. Yes, sir. That sounds horrible. 
Definitely <laughs> an opposing team that sounds that. horrible. That yeah, sounds like not fun if you're the opposing team. Um, can you guys get back to where you were when you when you were a freshman? Can you guys make the state finals this year? Can you make a run at it in football? That's the goal. Um, you know, we've got some really good juniors who are coming back as seniors this year, you know, very seasoned veterans coming back to play. I think our offense will be very tuned this year. You know, our quarterback will be firing on all cylinders. Our receivers are very good. Our line, you know, it's pretty much the same as last year. Just going to take another step with that. And then obviously our defense speaks for herself. You know, we have pretty much an entire defensive roster returning. So, you know, we're just going to keep getting better and better, get stronger, faster, you know, the chemistry is going to be there already. So we're just going to, it's only up from here, honestly. So I think it's a very promising year. We just got to execute. That's really the only thing left. 51 and 0 pin through the state tournament, sectional district state, um, Ironman champ, Brexville champ dominated everything you were in. How do you top your, what do you do in your senior year? You guys are runner up as a team this year to uh, St. Paris Graham. What, what can you do to top your junior year of high school with your senior year of high school? Just keep the chain, keep the chain going. Keep that goose egg on the board. You know, just continue to, you know, tighten up my skills, improve everything um, that I need to continue to build upon. Um, and just obviously just dominate everything I do. Just continue to dominate, continue to, you know, um, just prove that I'm, you know, the best that I can be. And if that happens to be at the top of the leaderboard, then, you know, that's what it is. But, you know, I'm just going to plan to whoever steps on that mat, you know, it's going to be six minutes and we're going to go to war and, you know, God willing, I come out on top every time. So. My wife is from Ann Arbor, Michigan. I hold the booze, hold the booze. I know you guys don't like that down there in Columbus. You're from Columbus. <laughs> so first question I ever asked my wife was I've asked Rayvon Foley this. He's the, him and my wife went to the same high school, Pioneer High School. It's directly oh, wow. across the street from the big house, right? Mm -hmm. You're from Columbus, Ohio. So the obvious question here is, um, why not Ohio State, right? Why not Ohio State and um, why not the Big Ten? Because so many guys are so Big Ten happy. But why not be a Buckeye when you're, you know, what do you live, 20 minutes from the, the campus at Ohio State? Yeah, 15, 20. 15, 20. Why not Ohio State? You know, um, for me, the situation that was presented to me and the offer that was presented to me by um, uh, Coach Ryan, you know, just didn't seem to fit. Uh, what my schedule, um, my idea of schedule, I guess, you know, he wanted me a gray shirt, red shirt, and then, you know, fill in the spot of Geog or Feldman. And for me, that didn't seem like the great, the best move for me. Um, so, you know, I, I appreciated the offer, you know, took it and, you know, I thought upon it, but for me, that just didn't seem like the best move for my, um, collegiate wrestling career. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, the situation is great down there. I think they're really going to light up the stage here in the next couple of years. But, um, you know, just for me, it didn't seem like the best option. So wrestling at the University of Virginia and in the uh, the ACC, what are you ex most excited about about going to UVA and wrestling in the ACC? Um, Man, that's a great question. No, I'm really excited. You know, it's kind of hopefully, you know, we got a really good 2024 class coming up. You know, the recruiting classes in the um, that are there now, you know, all those guys are really nice and, you know, very good wrestlers. Got to meet them uh, two weeks ago. You know, I think it's very promising. I think, um, you know, all the building blocks are going to be set in place here very soon and we're going to dominate the ACC here in the next couple of years. So that's probably what I'm most excited about. You know, let's grab an ACC title. You know, let's break the top 20 in the, the national rankings and just, you know, make a name for Virginia wrestling. That's kind of kind of the goal here. So. Will there be any years at 197 or is everything going to be heavyweight? You know, that's a big question. Um, I think we're going to go two and two. You know, 97 for two years and then heavyweight for two years. Um, that's what I talked with Coach Garland. You know, obviously, J.I.L., a uh, All-American for Virginia. He weighs about what I did and then cut down to 197 with no problem. So I feel with the right nutrition, with the right lifting plan, you know, everything in check with my food and um, water intake. And, you know, obviously, you know, the coaches watching over me, I think I could be a lethal 97 um, just with all the proper uh, tools to do so. What do you weigh right now? Like 225. 225. Wow. You will be a massive 197. Um, That's true. Ma massive. Uh, biggest thing for you, you know, you guys talk, we talk about this and, um, 
Can DeSales win a team title next year? Can you knock Graham off? Yeah, I think we got all the tools to do so. I mean, you know, obviously me and Lincoln uh, returning state finalists. You know, we're going to get Lincoln a state title this year. You know, I'm hopefully going to grab my second. And then, you know, some of those guys who are a little bit lower on the chain are trying to bring them to the finals. You know, we brought seven to the semis this year. Let's uh, do the same thing this year. Whoever, however many we bring to the semis, let's bring them all to the finals. And, you know, I think if we do that, then we'll definitely solidify a state title. I think it's going to be a little bit harder this year, no doubt. But um, I don't see a reason why we couldn't take on the state title. What was Coach Colin Palmer's advice to you? He's your head coach at the sales. What was Colin Palmer telling you during this whole process, and how did he guide you? Um, you know, Colin's always been a great guy connecting me with all these college coaches. But, you know, he's just his thing is always just, you know, you got to feel it out. You know, you got to – you got to know what's best for you. And I knew, you know, kind of when I stepped on that University of Virginia campus, it really felt like home. I felt like I knew the guys from day one. You know, these coaches are super personable guys, you know, easy to talk to. Um, you know, J.I.L.O., a great training part, partner for me here as an RTC athlete. Um, he's a super good guy. And they're all men of faith, which is an extremely, you know, big part uh, for me. You know, I'm a big faith guy. I've been in Catholic schools my whole life. And we actually went to church together on Sunday before I um, – left the university. So, you know, that was a huge imprint on me, you know, seeing how faith is a very um, centerpiece to that university. So, you know, that, that really stuck with me when I left. So. Um, this year, um, had I not given you the uh, defense soap OW award, <laughs> but I have gotten double legged through the, uh, well, it used to be a stage, but you have double legged me through the uh, stands where your parents were sitting because you earned it. And Hey, they hooked you up, right? They sent you the, they did. They, they hooked they it up. One. I knew they'd take care of business. Um, yes, sir. Being, being the OW, right? Like you're the best guy there, in my opinion. And, you know, the, people are going to give out whatever awards they want, but for what you did, you know, the pinning your way through and in the class of people that you joined, um, is there any doubt in your mind that, you know, that you're the not, you're, you're the best guy? Is there any doubt in your mind? Do you think that every time you go out, I'm the best guy in the country, I'm the best guy in Ohio, pound for pound? So, you know, obviously you want to have that mindset going in. You know, you don't want to have a negative mindset. But, you know, I'm going to let my my skills speak for myself. You know, if the competition presents itself, you know, the number two, number three, number one guy in the country wants to step on the mat, I mean, there's no reason I wouldn't step right back on there and, you know, go six minutes with him. And then if I come on, come out on top, obviously, you know, that would that would prove it in itself. But, you know, obviously I'm, I'm going to believe that I'm the best because, you know, what, what other man, mindset would you have stepping on the mat? So. There's one yeah. other thing about the University of Virginia we haven't talked about, you know, that you want people to know about why you made your decision to be, uh, you know, a Virginia UVA Cavalier. Uh, what would it be? Um, it's good. I mean, obviously, their wrestling is, you know, top tier ACC um, wrestling programs on the up and up, but also the education there is, you know, second to none. I mean, it's one of the best educations in the world. Um. So, you know, even when wrestling's done, you know, I'm going to have a great education at the end of the day. That's going to carry me through life. And their alumni program is, you know, outstanding. So, you know, being able to have those connections to all these amazing people, you know, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that aspect as well. Can you win an NCAA title at the University of Virginia? Absolutely. Hopefully not just one, hopefully multiple. I like it. That's yeah, I do. I knew I was going to hear something good like that. I love it. Um, all right, any uh, track or baseball for you right now, or is it all lifting? Oh, no, I don't run. That's <laughs> – You throw that's, stuff. You throw stuff. Yeah, I throw, I throw people and I throw balls that are <laughs> that look like footballs, but I don't run that. I don't, I don't do a lot of running, so. Oh, I love it. So, lifting. Lifting is the answer. Yeah, lifting, doing some football training just to stay in shape, uh, stay in football shape, you know, still be able to move on the football field well. So, yeah. I love it. I love it, man. All right. I told you I was going to keep it short and sweet so we can get this out there and let the folks know what you have to say about your commitment to the University of Virginia, Max Shula. Do you have anything else for me, sir? I think that's it. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you guys uh, linking up with me, letting me know that, uh, you know, let me give you guys the first word out there to people and letting them know that uh, you're going to be a Cavalier. Go Hoos, right? Yes, sir. Go Hoos. All right. I love hearing it. Tell your dad. I said, keep it up. Congratulations to the shoe laws and uh, tell Lincoln uh, when his decision comes here, uh, we'll have to keep that. Uh, we'll have to keep the line open. All right. Absolutely.
All right, Max, thank you for the time. Congratulations on picking the University of Virginia and good luck to you moving forward. Thank you very much, Seb. I appreciate you taking your time out of your day.